Welcome to episode six forty three. Robert Pera, wireless hardware self-made billionaire. This is an outline of episode six forty three. There are three reasons we study Robert Pera. First, he's the few computer hardware self-made billionaires. Most of them are in software. Second, he's only forty-one years old and worth over ten billion dollars. Third, at six foot three, he's the only billionaire in the world who can dunk a basketball. Let's meet Robert Pera. He was born in St. Louis in 1958, but grew up in California. He played basketball in high school. He studied at University of California, San Diego, and earned dual degree in electrical engineering and Japanese studies. Then he earned a master of science degree in electrical engineering, also from UC San Diego, majoring in circuit design. He was 24. His first job was at Apple Computer. We're doing a lot of testing. I worked on the Apple Wi-Fi router at the time. It was unique, 802.11g. This is 2003, 2004. Very ambitious, very goal-driven, competitive. I tried to advance in Apple for two years, and I got frustrated, and I decided to start my own company. A lone wolf with no business experience, he started his company Ubiquity with seventy thousand dollars, thirty thousand of which was credit card. Forty thousand dollars, and I had another thirty thousand dollars in credit cards. This is his company Ubiquity Networks. This is his first product, PoE adapter. The amazing thing is, it costed around thirty dollars. It was a big hit. Ubiquity's biggest customers are the emerging countries such as Brazil, Indonesia, and Czechoslovakia, as shown in this map, where there are no cables in the ground. Thirty dollars wireless solution for the masses. Six years later, in 2011, he took Ubiquity to IPO and borrowed thirty million dollar financing. In 2012, he bought NBA team the Memphis Grizzlies for $350 million. Uh, I'm an NBA super fan.、Uh, I believe it's the greatest sport in the world,、um, just from a fan perspective, from player's perspective.、Uh, Memphis as a city, it's unbelievable. The people have been great.、Uh, I can tell the community is really special, and、uh, those two things combined, I, I consider myself very, very fortunate. Uh, probably the luckiest man in the world right now. In November 2019, Forbes magazine listed his net worth as 10.6 billion dollars. A minimalist like Steve Jobs, his company has no salesman, his apartment has no furniture, and he is still single at age 41. A futurist, Robert Pera's view on IoT. In movies, maybe 10, 20 years ago, was this idea of a Surveillance society, where the government is watching you, and、uh, they can find out anything about anyone at any time. What is interesting about IoT and technology in general is, surprisingly, I think we have turned into a surveillance society. iPhones now with face detection, they use Google Chrome browsers. Um, everybody has a digital footprint, and depending on your habits and your activity,、uh, certain governments or certain companies could probably identify an individual very quickly. And that is a little scary. To IoT, it is going even a step further. If you look at the popular IoT devices,、uh, Amazon Alexa, Google Home, all of these cameras and all of these microphones are connected to servers. Anything you say or anything you do in your home is now stored on somebody's server forever. But everything you're doing inside your home, every conversation you have, and I think that's really scary. Now on Unify, better than the cloud. Unify is a product from his company Ubiquity Networks. Cloud is great for collaboration. 
for Facebook, for Instagram, for YouTube, any streaming collaboration applications, cloud is, is a, a great solution. But when you look at things like access points, video cameras, microphones, do you really need these things cloud connected? The benefits of cloud are remote connectivity. If I have a video security camera in my home in the United States, if it's through the cloud, I can view it here in Brazil. But in what I believe is you can create a controller that is small footprint and leave it in your physical location off the cloud and you could create RTC to remote connect into these controllers. And that's one of the things we've done with Unify. So Unify is very different than the other cloud companies. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Robert Perra, 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.